Well, good morning, y'all. And this is the day I'm going to tell you why I was interested in gathering pizza stuff up. I have a little short clip that I'm going to put in here, and uh, then you'll figure out what it's all about. And then we're going to do, I'm going to unbox something. So I want y'all to watch the little clip, and then I'll be back, and we'll get ready to unbox what I'm talking about. Yeah! I got a prize coming, y'all. I've been waiting all day for him to get here. Yeah, buddy, I've been telling y'all what it is here for long. Let's see how long it takes him to get it up here to me. He's got to get his dolly out so he can haul it. He's usually here before 11 in the morning and it's after 5 in the evening and I was wondering if it was going to actually get here and it did. I'm supposed to have two boxes. Hi. <laughs> what are you doing? Good evening. Well, I'm making a video for my YouTube channel because I won the sweepstakes for King Arthur Baking Company and I won an uni pizza oven. Well, listen to that. And that's what you're bringing for me. Well, isn't that awesome? Yeah, I'm so excited. Just anywhere up under there, because Troy will have to help me get it where I can unbox yeah. it. Yeah. Now, there's supposed to be two things. Is that what it is? That's this and this is all I have for okay. you today. They said two, so I'm so. getting them. The oven and a, and a pizza peel and a cover. And I don't know what's in what by now the oven's in there. So I'm so excited. That is so, so awesome. Excited. Yeah, I will good to you. I on my cell phone when I get a call and it's it doesn't have somebody's name on it. That tells me that's not somebody I know. And there's so much spam. I get so tired of it. So most of the time I don't answer those calls. But I had taken my computer to Best Buy thinking something was wrong with it and thank the good Lord it was okay. And as I was sitting there in the car, I got a phone call and I thought, I don't know anybody from there, but I guess I'll answer it. And they said, we're looking for Gay Jordan. I said, this is she. And they said, this is, and I don't remember the name, from King Arthur Baking. And you entered a sweepstakes to win an uni pizza oven and some baking supplies from us and your name was drawn y'all i didn't remember entering i just enter if i get a, a thing in my email and we need to know where to ship it and they had sent me an email that i never got i went and looked through my junk my trash my email my everything but anyway i'm so glad they called me and i'm so glad i answered so anyhow he said it would be a week to two weeks and i would get it well within a week i got the double zero flour, which is for pizza, pizza dough seasoning, pizza seasoning, and a bottle of their seasoned uh, garlic seasoned olive oil, and I've bought it before and I love it. That came from King Arthur. So what's in this box right here is what comes with the uni uh, oven. I got a cover for it that I've already opened and it just fits over it. And somewhere in this box I'm going to get a pizza peel and my uni. Coda 16 pizza oven. So let's get this box open and see what I have. Okay, here's what it's all about. A Uni Coda 16 gas powered pizza oven. And this one runs on propane, but you can get the same model, but it runs on wood or propane. So this is what I got free, so I'm very excited for it. Let's see what we got here. Well, I'm going to have to have some help. That is too heavy for me. I guess we'll have to turn it on its side and get the box out. But here's my pizza peel. Oh, and it's the one I was hoping that I would get. It's the perforated. Uh, one with the perforations in it because I've got a solid one. Well, Troy can open that for me and then he's probably going to have to Help me. I think I need to turn this over and slide this box out and then because it weighs 40 pounds and I can't just hoist 40 pounds up out of this box. So let me lay it over. Cut the sides or something. 
cut the box off? Just a minute. We'll be right back. I'm going to cut this cardboard and do, then we can get that box out and show you the pizza oven. I haven't seen it yet either. I've never seen one in person. Okay, here's my box. And we're fixing to open it up and see what it looks like inside. Okay, Troy's here helping me. So I can, let me get my... See what's going on. <clears throat> Troy's going to be here helping me, but inside is a warranty card and then the the guide for using it. And I think there's some recipes in here because I've been watching. Can you believe I've been watching Uni um, videos on YouTube, and I've been watching a lot of pizza dough things on YouTube too. So okay, now we got to get it out of here. And this is the pizza stone, and it's big, and I'm going to sit it over here on the counter, and I feel another something, must be another instruction book. <clears throat> this is a manual and safety instructions for it. So there's not a whole lot to setting it up. This is the thing for the hook up to your propane bottle. And you know, the other day I was at Costco and they had propane bottles for $39, I think it was. And I told Troy, I said, I'm going to get one of those so we'll have an extra one. I didn't know I was going to get something to put it on. I was thinking about my Weber out there that I use propane with. So I'm happy to have that. It's packed very nicely. And now, I don't know, we've got to get this thing out of here. And the only thing you do to set it up is it has three legs on it and you just pop the legs out and set it up and hook it up to the propane and it's ready to go. But I wanted to set it up there on the table and show y'all what it looks like. I'm so excited. It's fun to win a prize. I think I can lift that. I thought I could. Troy's saying no, so let me... Turn the camera off and we'll get it out of the box and set it up on the table and put its legs out where you can see what it looks like. Okay, this is the underneath of it. And Troy's going to fold the legs down and show you how easy it is. All you have to do is get it out of the box. Fold the legs down and set it on its feet and it's ready to hook up to the propane and use. Inside, I know you can't see well in there, but it has an L-shaped burner that goes down this side right here and across the back. And uh, that's what cooks the pizza. But when I get it turned on, I'll video it and show y'all uh, how the burner is working in there. And then the next thing you do is put your pizza stone in. And the neat thing I like, you see this little hole right here, my finger's through? When you need to take your pizza stone out, you can lift it up there and pull it out. It makes it easier to get it out and clean it. I am very thankful to Uni Pizza and uh, King Author Baking for this sweepstakes and that out of over 30,000 people, he said, my name was drawn, randomly chosen. So you know what? I thank the good Lord because this is a blessing. I couldn't have bought one of these little ovens. Let me tell you what, I do love me some pizza. If I had to choose, and I've told y'all this, one kind of food, it would be Italian food. I like anything with tomato sauce and tomatoes in it, and I absolutely love pizza. So this is going to be fun. It'll be a learning curve because you have to move that pizza around in there and turn it and where it'll cook evenly and you won't have any burn edges. I'm sure I'll have a few burn edges, but hey, I'm in for the long haul. I'm going to learn to cook a perfect pizza on my uni uh, Coda 16 inch gas powered pizza oven. I ordered a little table for it from um, I went on Facebook and joined some groups and somebody had recommended this company and I can't think of the name of it. It started with a V and I ordered the little pizza table um, the little table for my pizza oven and it came in like four days. So Troy's going to get that put together and we're going to get the Uni on it and then I'll show y'all what it looks like and I've already made some dough 
and I'm going to talk to you about the dough and the method that I use, but we'll be making pizza and trying this thing out. So I'll be back. I'm not done yet. Okay, Troy's looking at the directions. He's going to get my little table put together, and then we'll bring Uni out here and put it on its resting spot. I've got lavender waiting to be planted, and I've got me a butterfly on it. So pretty. I'm going to do one of my little 4x4 four four raised beds with this lavender in it. And hope to goodness it grows. Y'all are just getting a roundabout out here while I'm waiting on Troy to get this table done. Got me some lemongrass over there. I've got some planted in the back, but I'm going to plant some more. This is the pizza peel that I got. It's the perforated one. And I was hoping to get that one because I already have a uh, solid one. Troy got the cart together, and I know you can't see really well because the sun is shining out here. And it's dark under the carport. The brand is Vevor, V-E-V-O-R, and no shipping, no tax. It was $113, which was the best I could find that my uni would fit on and save me all the dollars that I could. So we're going to get it rolled over there in the spot I've made for it. I have my Weber grill, my Blackstone, my pellet grill, and then I'm going to put my pizza maker right there by the pellet grill. Okay, we got everything put together and we rested a little while and um, the first thing you have to do is you have to light the pizza oven and let it burn for 30 minutes on high. Then it has to totally cool back down and you wipe everything out with a paper towel. That's to get rid of any residual oils or anything from manufacturing and then it'll be ready to make a pizza. So Troy has gone to wherever he had my propane bottle stored and out back and we're going to hook it up and crank it up and let it burn for 30 minutes and then it'll be ready for me to make pizza and I'm so excited. Did y'all see that I made me a pizza apron? It has pizza all over it and uh, so I think I need to cook a pizza to justify wearing the apron. Okay, we've got it lit and the fire goes across the back and up the left side. It's an L shape. So it's got to burn for 30 minutes and then cool down and I'll wipe it out and then I would be ready to heat it up again. They say it gets up to 950 degrees in 20 minutes. We'll see. Troy's got one of those things that you click and it tells you what the temperature is. So we infrared thermometers. So we'll check it out here in a little bit, but it's got to burn for 30 minutes. Okay, y'all, we've got the oven all pre uh, seasoned the 30 minutes at high and uh, I'm gonna do a pizza bake on it on another video coming up I'm not gonna do a pizza today but y'all saw my prize and you can share my excitement and my blessing and you can't eat any of the pizza but you'll get to watch me making it pretty soon I've got several recipes and one of my friends uh, from Maine sent me her recipe, and I'm think I'm going to try some of it too. But right now, I just want y'all to see my prize and to tell you, enter those sweepstakes. You know, you might win. I've been entering sweepstakes all my life. I just used to know I was going to win that Southern Living Home that they give away, the Publisher's Clearinghouse. I never did, but I still enter. So, anyhow, it paid this time. The good Lord bless and keep y'all, and I will see you again in a day or two around this butcher block and maybe out there at the uni making pizza.